the stewardess hears this and goes hauling ass down the aisle. And I yell, don't forget the coffee. Oh, shit. You didn't say that. For Christ's sake, buddy, it's a joke. Yeah. I know someone actually happened to him, not huh? A joke? Jerry, all right. trouble finding the place? No, I took a cab. Timmy, this is Jerry. We went to college together. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I get your beer? Um, no, just a Perrier. It's French for club soda. Club soda, yeah. 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 A couple of sandwiches, too. Sure. Put on my tab. You have a plan on paying your tab? Yeah, Chief. Got the winning lottery ticket right here. What's the jackpot? 12 million. I don't think that'll cover it. Yeah, but it'll cover your sex change operation. Nuts? No, thank you. So, you wanted to talk about Will? Well, it seems to be going well. I think so. Have you talked to him at all about his future? No, we haven't gotten into that yet. We're still banging away at the past. Well, maybe you should. My phone's been ringing off the hook with job offers. What kind? Well, cutting edge mathematics, think tanks, the kind of place where a mind like Will's is given free reign. That's, that's great that they're offers, but I, I don't really think he's ready for that. I'm not sure you understand, Sean. Well, what don't I understand? Oh, guys. Thank you. So you don't get sticky fingers, huh? Tim, can you help us? We're trying to settle a bet. Uh-oh. You ever heard of Jonas Salk? Sure, cured polio. You have heard of Albert Einstein? Hey. <laughs> How about Gerald Lambeau? Ever heard of him? No. Thank you, Tim. So who won the bet? I did. This isn't about me, Sean. I'm nothing compared to this young man. You ever hear of Gerald Lambeau? In 1905, there were hundreds of professors renowned for their study of the universe, but it was a, it was a 26-year-old Swiss patent clerk doing physics in his spare time who changed the world. Can you imagine if Einstein would have given that up just to get drunk with his buddies in Vienna every night? We all would have lost something. Tim would never have heard of him. Pretty dramatic, Jerry. No, it isn't, Sean. This boy has that gift. He just hasn't got the direction, but we can give that to him. Hey, Jerry. In the 1960s, there was a young man graduated from University of Michigan. Did some brilliant work in mathematics, specifically bounded harmonic functions. Then he went on to Berkeley, was assistant professor, showed amazing potential. Then he moved to Montana, and he blew the competition away. Yeah, so who was he? Ted Kaczynski. I haven't heard of him. Hey, Timmy! Yo! Who's Ted Kaczynski? Unibob! That's exactly what I'm talking about. We gotta give this kid direction. Yeah, he can contribute to the world, and, and we can help him do that. Direction's one thing, manipulation's another. Well, right. Sean! have to let him find Sean, his own. I'm not sitting at home every night twisting my mustache and hatching a, hatching a plan to ruin this boy's life. I was doing advanced mathematics when I was when I was 18, and it still took me over 20 years to do something worthy of a Fields Medal. Well, maybe he doesn't want what you want. There's more to life than a fucking Fields Medal. This is too important, Sean. And it's about personal rivalry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Jerry. Let's talk about the boy. Why don't we give him time to figure out what he wants? That's a wonderful theory, Sean. It worked wonders for you, didn't it? Yeah, it did, you arrogant fucking prick. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I came here today. I came here out of courtesy. I, I wanted to keep you on the loop. Oh, nice to be in the loop. The boy's in a meeting right now. I set up for him over at McNeil. <laughs>